Hey guys, welcome to Alihan Online Academy. In this video, we will learn about C constants. Guys, please subscribe our YouTube channel for getting daily updates, latest job notifications, and latest updates from our side. So, please subscribe our YouTube channel and press the bell icon button so that you can get notification directly from our side. Now, let's start about C constant. Guys, in our previous lecture where we have discussed about the basics of C, in that we have discussed about constants. The basic definition of constant, the value of that entity which doesn't change in full programming or in the full program. Like, suppose a memory allocate is there to, to X, suppose this the memory address is 100 and suppose the address value is 100 and the name of this memory location is x suppose the value of this is 5 then if it's not changing in full program then it's constant constant doesn't change i just want to simply say that okay now if we discuss about more then we will discuss about its a types here and after the types we will discuss about a primary and secondary constants okay so there are two types of c constants primary constants and secondary constants in this video we will learn about primary constants integers reals and characters their rules in c that what are the specific instruction rules to apply integer constant real constant and character constant and on the specific place when we used array pointers structure union enum and etc things that's come under secondary constant we will discuss them on the place of when we will discuss array and pointers similarly etc okay so let's discuss about primary constants primary constants are three types basically integer reals and characters so what are integer con constant integer constants are basically you can make what is if someone says to you that what are integer constant then what will you reply so basically you will reply that it should cons it should contain value of any integer first thing is that means one is integer constant yes two is integer constant yes three is integer constant yes but up to how up to much to how much you can say that it's an integer value so the range of integer value are fixed okay range range is th minus 3 to 7 6 8 to 3 to 7 6 7 this is the range this is the range of primary constants okay the second rule to apply on integer constant are it should not contain any decimal points means if you are making integer constant line 1.0 or 0 0.1 it's not integer constant right it's also not integer constant it should not contain decimal point if okay so it is basically rule to apply in, in integer constants okay after that we will discuss real constants so what are real constants real constants the rule to apply constants in real is that it should contain decimal point it should contain decimal point like 12.40 it's a real constant minus 2.4 it's a real constant now one thing that mention that you should mention is that if there isn't any sign suppose you have declared integer as a 5 if you de didn't mention any sign then it will consider as a positive integer by default it's a C language default parameter. Similarly, in real also, either it should be positive or either it should be negative. Right? So if plus 12.40 is there, means it's positive real constant. And if minus 2.4 is there, then it's negative real constant. Now, if you will talk about exponential program, then how real constants are explained or expressed in real constants or 1.2 e 40 suppose this is there right then it's a real constant and the value before e is called as mantisa and value after e are called as exponent right 
so this is the real this is also real constant it should i it should also uh, maybe positive or negative like that uh, minus 1.2 e 40 or you can also say that 2.4 e minus 4 like that every exponent either it should be positive or real uh, or, ne or positive or negative it should be a real constant now let's see discuss about character constants what are character constants character constants are basically make basically they are simply of a single character like and they should contain in a single single uh, bracket like that suppose a is a character constant but you should express it in c programming language like this single slash bracket okay now this this is also character constant this is also character constant right now the rule is that the maximum length of character constant should be 1 right maximum length of character constant should be 1 right if you are declaring like that a2 it is not a character constant not a character constant right similarly if you are de uh, uh, describing integers like 5 5 5 5 5 5 5 like this it's a, it's a integer but it's not an integer constant because the range is specific similarly in real also it should be either positive or negative right so these are basic rules or instruction that you should follow when you write a c code why we discuss the c constant here to understand the terminology to understand the grammar of c that when you write the program in which you should have to declare constant and you should remember this thing in your mind so that when you will apply this thing into your programming language right suppose in programming language you need to apply integer constant or you need to apply real constant or you need to apply character constant then how should you apply right so this rules you should keep in mind uh, or when you write code or when you do code in your programming any programming platform right so let's recap this all so that you can understand again now we have discussed c constant in this video c constant are basically of two types primary and secondary these are primary c constant integer real and character secondary constants are array pointers structures and num etc right now the rules of integers should be what is it integer should be in the range of minus 3 to 6 7 7 6 to 3 to 7 6 right and uh, it should not contain any decimal point if in if there is any sign then it should considered as positive by default in character constants maximum length should be 1 and it should cons consist between these brackets okay real constants real constants are it should it must contain it must contain contains decimal point it must contain a decimal point either it should be positive or negative will be considered as a real number right and in we have also prepared discuss character as well so guys i hope you have understood c constants very clearly further if you have any doubt you can visit our official website www.arihantonlineacademy.com where we can also give you proper comment feedback because in youtube there is a restriction of uh, more comments because it will be considered as spam so better to write us on our website that is www dot arihant online academy dot com you can you write on this website and we will give you feedback or we will give you solution of every your query okay so guys please subscribe our youtube channel and please subscribe our website as well so that you can get updates from your side and you can get latest notification job alerts directly from our side Thank you so much.